Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So, a little bit of a fitness talk for you today, but it's also going to be a little controversial because a lot of people charge me, believe it or not, of being on steroids. And I realize that a lot of people who are not fit don't really understand what a person on steroids looks like. I think the majority of people realize that I'm not. They realize that, uh, well, I'll tell you the main reason why I'm not. And it's not even the main reason because the main reason is that it would be too unnatural for me to do. I wouldn't want to do it because of probably mostly because of the side effects. I mean, if you could prove that there was absolutely no side effects and something gave you increased strength, increased endurance, and it wasn't going to shorten your lifespan or anything like that, why wouldn't a person want to do that? But of course, that's not the case. And regardless, one of the main reasons why I wouldn't want to have abnormally high testosterone levels, not only because if the way I train, I would turn into a freak of nature. You would notice I would be huge. I would probably be twice the size as I am now. And right now, for the record, I'm 100 and probably 87 pounds. I took this picture when I was 182 pounds, testosterone is going to have a lot of psychological effects. Uh, as an addictions counselor, I can tell you that I've worked with people who are coming off the sauce and they tend to get very apathetic about life. Very similar to coming off of antidepressants, although it's not as bad, but your sex drive goes way down. You know, it just messes with your hormones. You don't have as much drive. I'm guessing if you were faced with a life or death situation, you would have perhaps less will to live. I mean, I'm just speculating on that, but I'm presuming that that vitality that fuels that masculinity is going to diminish and that's not going to serve you well if you're in a crisis situation. Now, the second reason why I would never do it is because if there ever was a crap hits the fan scenario, I don't want to become highly estrogenic. Because that's what's going to happen to a lot of these guys. If they ever got cut off, they're going to start growing all kinds of moobs, if you know what I'm saying, man boobs. And it's pretty easy to spot, for me anyways, when somebody is on the sauce. It's not that easy when you're first starting. Because you're probably going to think anybody with a decent physique at that point is doing something unnatural. When the fact is, it's very, very hard to tell uh, when you're first starting out. Like, there's some people where it's clearly obvious that uh, they're on the juice. And they're, they're juicing for the purpose of building muscle. Because you can take testosterone not only to build muscle, but to build endurance, uh, to get more speed, uh, stamina, agility, all those other attributes. It's not just about getting big. You can do it to be stronger, to run faster. Uh, things of that nature to be more athletic so it's not just about building muscle but that's the primary reason why people do it excessive acne is one thing i've also found that there's a certain bulge people get to their heads uh, i don't know if it's like uh like a swelling almost of the head but that's usually pretty obvious if they have veins let's see if, if the guy's 510 if he's 200 pounds plus and he's got veins you that you can see striations in his arms or whatever in his neck and he hasn't even worked out yet and he's 200 plus pounds at only 59 510 then chances are that guy's probably on some sauce now that's not through and through all the way there are some genetic freaks out there okay who, and there are some people who are very big boned, who have very large statures and who are just naturally what they call mesomorphic, just naturally genetically gifted people who are very muscular just by nature. But that is very, very rare to be that lean, that heavy. So that's one thing is that, you know, they have those striations, they have the acne, they have the bulgy, puffy face. Um, in terms of roid rage, I'm not so convinced on that. The jury is still indecisive about that. It hasn't been actually scientifically proven that steroids make you more 
prone to aggression but what probably happens is that people who take steroids in the first place suffer from something usually unless they're doing it for competitive purposes like uh, bodybuilding they probably got some deep-seated emotional issues and as a result of that when faced with any sort of conflict they're probably going to resort to some sort of aggressive way of being or, or perhaps they have very sensitive egos and they're easily offended and certainly the ego is something that compels a person to want to self-improve but of course it can be healthy so it's always good to to laugh at yourself at the same time and realize that you know you're just another guy in the world who's getting in shape you're just another dude on this rock spinning in space you know you're nothing special you're not, you're not more better than anybody else uh, just because you got a bit more muscle than other people it's always good to keep things in perspective you're just one spiritual being doing what you can to get by anyways so just to clarify no i'm not on the sauce i don't necessarily condone it but you know what to each their own if you think it's something which is going to help you uh, perhaps you're even medically prescribed it or perhaps you're operating within the parameters of the law where you live that you're allowed to take this stuff and if you think that it's not unhealthy and you have evidence to back that up then all the more power to you do what you want personally i'm against it for those reasons uh, namely because if the crap hits the fan you don't want to be dependent on drugs if you if you can avoid it at all costs if you can holistically get bring yourself to a level of health where you're not dependent on medicines especially prescription medication that's going to be hard to access in large amounts and store long term and especially psychopharmaceuticals so there it is guys if you want fitness tips advice ask me questions in the comment section but just remember there's a wealth of information on youtube you can go and get all this stuff i've done probably 20 videos now on fitness from everything how to build muscle how to lose weight how to build strength all of those things so you can go and check out those videos i'm going to post a link to the playlist right here and you can go and check that out don't forget to like comment subscribe it's not too late to get your silky saws uh, to your loved ones for the christmas tree so go check out canadianpreparedness.com we got same day shipping on every saw that you see available there so go check it out thanks for watching canadian prepper out